Let's take a look at manually assigning your MIDI controller knobs um, in Reason. This should also work for your faders as well. If your MIDI device does not come with software included with it with all of these uh, controls pre-mapped, some of them do. So for instance with the Nectar series those will come with pre-mapped software for a lot of the major DAWs but some do not. I'm currently working with a MPK Mini and the the keys work, the pads work because those are playing notes so to speak uh, C1, C2, C sharp 2 and so on but as far as the MIDI CC information sometimes you're gonna have to map that manually so how do we do that? I've got a little track I'm working on here and I would really like to control the pitch manually. Now, you should be able to right click and edit override mapping. Then you can choose your control surface, you know, Akai MPK Mini, which is what I'm using, and then move the particular fader or knob that you'd like to use. And if you've tried this and nothing's working, then the first thing that you really need to do is come to edit and access your preferences. Then we want to take a look at the control surfaces. Now I've got the MPK mini already set up in here. So why isn't working? Well, we need to also, we need to add it a second time as a control surface. So let's come to add and then we'll choose other. And then we don't want the MIDI controller keyboard. We want MIDI control surface. So let's choose that. Then the MIDI input, we want to choose the MPK mini or whichever model MIDI controller you're using. We'll choose OK. We get these exclamation uh, marks here, but we're not going to pay atten attention to that. Um, actually, I'm not quite sure what those mean, but this should still work. We'll close out. Now we'll take those same, same steps again. I want to have manual control over pitch. I'll right click, edit remote override mapping, control surface. We want to click this drop down menu and choose the other that we just added here, the MIDI control surface. Now at this point, I want to use knob one here. So I'll move that and as you can see we have an indicator letting us know that the MIDI information is being received. I'll click OK. Now if we come to the pitch, I now have control over that. You can also see here through this MIDI indicator icon that the information is being received. So if you're ever trying to troubleshoot, first look here to be sure that the MIDI information is even arriving into the device you're trying to control. So now how this will help me with my song is that I want to uh, have finer control of this pitch change. I've got a snare here at the end where I added pitch shift and drew in the automation manually, but I don't like drawing in notes or automation any time that you're working on music. Having hands on and being able to control uh, is always much better and going to give you a more human and organic feel and sound. Uh, so what it sounds like with the information that I drew in So I'd like to be able to control that with the knob here. So what I'm going to do is mute that automation and go ahead and play back. And actually I will go to the, let's bring both of these up. And this is the pitch here that I've assigned control to whereas the drawn-in automation was doing it previously, I've now muted it 
and now as you'll see I have control over that pitch and can just do a bit more natural uh, change and, and work on it until I get it to where I'd like it instead of continually drawing the information in. So uh, that is manually assigning the knobs on your MIDI controller within reason.